Hello, my name is Colby Smith with Ream Kenworth. Today we're going to go over what you may be seeing for dash lights when you're driving down the road, what those dash lights mean, and then also going to go through quickly how to operate and perform a manual regen. Okay, I would like to quickly go through how to perform a manual regeneration. This takes place and it only takes place if the suit level in your DPF has exceeded what the system can deal with automatically doing a passive regen while you're driving down the road. So if this happens, the light will come on the dash. And the only way to do a manual regeneration is if this light is on the dash. You cannot go out in the morning and just try to do a manual regen. It will not work. So if the light is on the dash, you're driving down the road, light comes on, you get to your next stop, you find a safe place that you can be sitting at for 30 to 40 minutes because that's how long the, regen the manual regeneration is going to take. You get to your safe spot, you pull over, put the truck in neutral, set the parking brake, you're looking at the dash, don't touch anything else, you'll find the switch that matches the light that is on your dash for the manual regen, hold that down for five or six seconds, truck will automatically ramp up to approximately 1100 RPMs. This will take, again, 30 to 40 minutes to complete. Do not touch anything while this is going on or the regeneration will be stopped. When the regeneration is complete in 30 to 40 minutes, the truck will go back down to the standard 650 RPMs when it's sitting there. That tells you that the regeneration is complete. You can go on with your day and operate it as normal. Okay, I just wanted to quickly mention, we went through all the lights and the how to do a manual regeneration in the new style T380, 480 or 880. I did want to mention that the T370 model Kenworth trucks that you folks own, the regeneration switch is in a little different location. On the trucks 2020 and older, the regeneration switch is going to be to the left of the steering column down by the key switch. That's the switch that we need to hold if we need to do a manual regeneration. Just wanted to make sure you knew that and we'll show you where that is on the dash. Just hold that up just like the other style. Five to six seconds, regeneration would start and everything else goes exactly the same. One thing the most important thing that we need to keep in mind when we are operating these vehicles with this regeneration that happens on the trucks. If the manual regeneration light comes on the dash and you ignore this light, the truck will first derate and then go in complete engine shutdown and only be able to limp the truck. This will cost thousands of dollars to get fixed. We need to make sure if the light comes on the dash, you are aware that you need to get that truck to a safe area in a short amount of time. It doesn't have to be immediate, but you need to think, be thinking about in the next couple hours where you can stop this truck and do a, rege a manual regeneration where the truck will derate and eventually get into the limp mode. And the only way to get the truck back to working order is to have the truck towed into a Kenworth dealership, take the DPF apart, burn the DPF, and reinstall it. This does mean that the truck would be down multiple days. So do not ignore the regeneration lights.